Hello everyone, welcome to the John Smith Stadium. You can see it's all empty. It was bouncing um, not so long ago. Not in that corner though, because that's where the Norwich fans were. And um, if I have to dish off, it'll be because uh, Alan Irvine and all the players have, have turned up to do their post-match interviews. But, uh, well, you all probably saw it on Sky uh, this evening, didn't you? Uh, just complete emphasis here of exactly what Norwich have got left to do if they want to rebuild and become relevant in the championship again. They were playing basically the game at half of the speed. Huddersfield were, as we know, that's what they've been like before. In the end, they were reasonably organised and doing okay in the game, apart from a spell in the second half where they conceded three times in the space of seven minutes, which is, to me underlines exactly why, in their heads, they want this season over and done with, because as soon as they went a goal down, that was it. Capitulation, collapse, game over. And it could have been, could have been more if Huddersfield had um, really wanted to turn the screw, um, then it would have been a number four or five job. They didn't need to, which again is a sad indictment on, on where Norwich are. I mean, <laughs> it's not going to get any easier until, well, the summer probably, given that Norwich are going to have to play other teams that are going to be right on their game, pushing forward, desperate to make it into the playoffs. Sorry old mess really, isn't it? And just a underlining exactly how bad things are and how far behind they are the teams the teams that are really pushing to, to do something this season so again we saw a side that was full of experienced heads and the, the younger players had kind of been left out of it um, but just a complete lack of experience and heart and the fact that the first goal was a replay basically from from the Villa game between Ryan Bennett and Michael McGovern the third goal was Norwich had about eight men back yet none of them moved and uh, Narky Wells finish basically went through Michael McGovern. And I did, I did make a joke on, on Monday that Norwich, um, surely even they couldn't pull off a 19 goal swing to overtake Rotherham's um, tally that they've conceded away from home this season, but they keep playing like this away from home, looking like a team disinterested and just hoping their summer turns up as quickly as possible. God knows what we're going to get from here on in, basically. So a sorry state of affairs. We're not sure if we'll get a player. I, I, the, the club have normally been pretty good at putting a player up after a game, so um, we, we will see. Russell Martin's already walked past us. Um, not best pleased, as you can imagine, and we'll wait to see Alan Irvin. Of course, we, we now expect that Stuart Webber will finally be confirmed as Norwich's sporting director, having been the head of football operations here. And it will be a promotion for him and more money and, and more responsibility and... Uh, that's the lure of leaving a club that he's done so well to help rebuild and turn turn around. That's the lure, lure for Stuart Webber. But uh, he probably quite appreciates, I've just been talking to Chris Gorham actually, you can see that. Just, uh, um, that he'll probably quite appreciate that lower expectation because he'll be able to make a bigger impact. I think that's a really good point. So uh, there we go. I thought I'd bring you this from inside the ground. Anyway, I didn't get the, the press box is um, just up up there and it's really tight. So I couldn't actually get out to do the pre-match um, fans chats, which is, of course, obviously a shame because that's the only point at which people would have been optimistic. But hopefully after, after this is done and once we've finished with the player waiting, um, we, will, uh, we will do a little uh, chat with Pad uh, afterwards too. Um, Huddersfield, I've got to be honest, if they go, don't go up this year, I think Wagner will leave and I think that will probably be that. But they've done a fantastic job. and They're quite feasible that you know they would deserve to go up given the lovely football they play and the, the energy they put more energy into this game than I've seen Norwich put in all season so that may be because they're just fitter but if they are just fitter why hmm? why can they play like that for a full 90 minutes Norwich did press quite well early on and once they sort of got the hang of it it took them sort of 15 minutes to work out how they were going to do it then they did it quite well then I don't think they could really keep it up and there's no doubt I just feel deserve to win this game pretty comfortably so anyway I'm going to sign off I'll leave you to it uh, keep track of uh, pinken.com obviously this facebook page too and the twitter feeds and we'll bring you all the fallout from tonight and what happens next because it's reading on saturday that will keep norwich busy and of course on friday we'll have the free press conference out of that game too so but uh, either way i'll speak to you soon i'll leave you with some uh, john smith stadium there you go